Yes, guys. So let's continue solving the questions. Let's look at question number 25 here. Software company S enters into a contract to license its customer relationship management software to customer B. Three days later, they enter into a separate contract where S agrees to provide continuing services to significantly customize the license software to function in B's IT environment. B is unable to use the software until the customization services are complete. Now, should the contracts be combined or not? Guys, this combination and separating of contracts is a separate segment that we have discussed under NDS 115. Let's try to look at them in, in this perspective of question number 25. Both the contracts are entered into at the same time or near the same time. Yes or no? Yes. Because the second contract was entered into three days later. So it is not exactly at the same time, but it is near the same time. Second thing. The contract to sell the customer relationship management software itself does not benefit the customer. Very clearly he stated down below, B is unable to use the software until the customization is complete. Therefore, both the performance combination are basically integrating to result in one single outcome to the customer. Therefore, both of them have to be combined to be treated as a single performance obligation. Third thing, they are not distinct. They are not distinct goods and services. They are highly interrelated and interdependent with each other. Therefore, we can say that both these uh, contracts, one to supply the software, other one for customization contract, both should be treated as one single contract. Clear? That is question number 25. Look at question number 26 then. Manufacturer M enters into a contract to manufacture and sell cyber security systems to the garment related entity P. One week later, in a separate contract, M enters into a contract to sell the same system to garment entity Q. Both entities are controlled with the same garment and during the negotiation, M agrees to sell the system at a deep discount if P and Q purchases security software. Should the contracts be combined? Again, the answer is yes, they have to be combined. Why is that so? Though it is with two different entities, they are represented or controlled by the same garment. And what makes you say that both should be combined? Because the price of one contract is significantly dependent upon the other contract. Look at the last sentence. During negotiation, M agreed to sell the systems at a deep discount if P and Q purchase the software. So that means the price of one contract is significantly dependent or interrelated to the price of the other contract. Therefore, these contracts are said to be uh, combined because they are more or less entered at the same time, one week later. So near the same time is what we can consider. Therefore, the contract with, with entity P and contract with entity Q, both are entered at the near same time and the contract price or the transaction price of each contract is highly interdependent on the contract with another entity. Therefore, both the contracts should be combined for recognition of revenue for manufacturer M. Look at question number 27. Telco T Limited enters into a two year contract for internet services with customer C. C also buys a modem and a router from T Limited and obtains the title of the equipment. T Limited does not require the customer to purchase its modems or routers and will provide internet services to customers using equipment that is compatible with T Network. There is a secondary market in which modems and routers can be bought or sold for amounts greater than scrap value. Determine how the manufacture how, how the performance obligation does T Limited how many performance obligation does T Limited have? Guys, there are three things out here or I'll broadly divide them into two things, modems and routers and internet connection. Remember, they can be, uh, uh, the customer can benefit from the internet services alone with the help of the existing softwares or any other modems and routers which are readily available in the market. Yes, that means they are distinct. So the identification of distinct good and service has been met. Internet services, routers and modems are two distinct goods and services because C can benefit from modem and router alone 
and also from the internet services alone they can take internet services from the company uh, from that particular company t limited and uh, they can purchase modems and routers from any other network or with readily available resources with the customer second thing are they highly interrelated or interdependent absolutely no internet services can still continue if they have a separate modem and router which is compatible with t's network therefore they are not highly interrelated or interdependent therefore the supply of modems and routers and the provision of internet service they have to be treated as distinct goods and services or separate performance obligations under the contract we limited grants customer c a 3 year license of an antivirus software under the contract we promises c limited with when and if available updates to that software during the license period the updates are critical to be continued uh, for the continued use of antivirus software determine how many performance obligations does the entity have guys the software updates will be provided when and if available therefore there is no compulsion on we limited to provide its customer with those kind of updates however they have to be they are continue they are uh, they are critical for the continuous use of the antivirus software however i would say that the customer has been taking the license of the intellectual property as it exists at the point of time therefore in this case you can say that the v limited can conclude that the license and updates are not separately identifiable because the software and service inputs are combined into one contract and nature of v limited's promise is to provide a combined antivirus software for a particular term of contract therefore v limited accounts the software and the updates as one single contract therefore you will have to recognize revenue over the period of time that is 3 years of license in this case clear so because without the updates then the critical use of the software will be defeated therefore it is integral to a part of the uh, of the particular cost contract or the customer expects we limited to keep on upgrading the software therefore fundamentally you can say that this is a contract or a license of intellectual property uh, uh you know uh, to make sure that the software as it exists uh, uh, at any point of time during the contract they're taking the license